The Monterey Fireboat's presence in this lovely harbor is nothing new. Our first fireboats for the city of Monterey were acquired back in the mid-40s. Converted Navy boats that were utilized for that purpose. We had a very large fishing fleet at the time. And uh, those fireboats were present into the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And then the, the program went dormant for a while. The U.S. Coast Guard had a strong presence here, and by policy, they were involved in marine firefighting at the time. Uh, since then, however, by policy, they have uh, migrated away from that, allowing local jurisdictions to provide that service. So in 1996, we had a couple of high profile incidents on the water that caused us to relook at the program, and uh, we began efforts at that time to restore the program. And because of the popularity of our waterfront, uh, the use is such that people often get into trouble, and so having a rescue platform that can augment the fine services of the U.S. Coast Guard are critical. We also have over 90,000 square feet of commercial and retail space on two very high-value wharves that are very expensive to replace. So having a firefighting capability at the waterline that can shoot up under a wharf with fire suppression water is really critical. Even though we're in a drought year, uh, we're lucky that we have an unlimited water supply. The water is salt water that's circulated up from underneath the boat. It's drawn up through a sea chest into the pump, and then it comes out one of three outlets, depending on what our needs are. The 32-foot metal craft fireboat that we currently have was purchased in 2005 through an assistance to firefighters grant and it was purchased as a replacement for our smaller inflatable fireboat that was single engine that had limited response capabilities and limited fire capabilities. So with this new fireboat, it's a larger boat, it can pump more, it has full navigation equipment, and it's a 24-7 vessel that we can take out uh, throughout the day or evening and respond to emergencies in the bay. It has served us well for almost uh, 10 years. And as boats live in such a harsh environment, they take a beating uh, from a maintenance side, and that often kills a program. And so rather than surplus this boat, because the hull was in such good shape, we opted to refit and repower the boat. Improvements included new Yamaha 250 horsepower engines. New engines were added for reliability and power. Extra power was needed for rough seas. New safety features were added and improved. The glossy red paint was removed, since it is hard to maintain in its corrosive environment. Most of the restoration work was paid for by local, state, and federal grant money and donations. Pound for pound, I think it's a very good bargain for the citizens of Monterey. Puts a fire engine on the water and gives us uh, EMS capabilities that are unparalleled uh, with other government vessels. So of all our apparatus in the city, the fireboat has the highest um, rescue to mission ratio and the highest absolute rescue numbers of any of our apparatus. So we're actually very proud of its uh, capabilities and uh, it's it's made a real difference in a lot of lives out on the water and that's our primary purpose is life safety on the water. Thank you to the Monterey Fire Department for keeping all areas of the community safe. With a restored fireboat on the water, we can be assured that our bay and its patrons are in good hands.
for more information about your fire department and fire apparatus. Visit us at monterey.org slash fire.